So we did a video a few days ago about the COVID situation and how it affected business. But we didn't really, we got off track a little, which is not uncommon. But just wanted to start this video. One, most people don't get a chance to see inside of our showroom over here. Always some interesting vehicles tucked away. A few of these in here are already sold. We keep them inside until they're shipped and picked up to keep them secure. Nice little old school Bronco. But anyway, COVID and what it's done for business. Well, as we showed in the last video, our parking lot is almost a hundred vehicles low right now on inventory. And yes, we can go out and buy more vehicles, but the market has inflated itself tremendously and gotten very out of hand as far as values go. But what has spurred that, you know, like we said in the last video as well, the every boat we had, every camper we had, every RV we had, every side-by-side, -side, motorhome, camper, you name it, if it was recreational, it sold. Well, why is that? Well, people have found more than ever with mandatory social distancing or voluntary social distancing, every state being a little different, and we've sold in the last 60 to 90 days, we've probably sold to close to more than half of the country, uh, different states. But all those recreational items allow you to social distance yourself. A lot of those people would have been vacationing in the Bahamas or going to Mexico or you know, traveling abroad, but they're not. So they figure out the best, next best thing to do, and that's pick up a new hobby. And majority of the people we have sold to were first timers. We've sold boats to 50 and 60 year old people that have never owned boats. We've sold RVs to older people that have never owned boats. We've sold RVs to 20, 22 year old people that never in a million years would have thought would have been RV type people, but they wanted to travel and that's one way to travel. Normally this area here would be two full lines. As you can see, it's single file. And this area here, usually fills all the way to the end. Their back line is typically sold vehicles or trade-ins. Nothing but sold vehicles currently. A couple trade-ins, but very few. And another telltale sign when you're looking at dealerships at vehicles, a little old school trick is look at the inspections. And there's one that's older, so one, but seven, seven, four, seven as you can see most of them are very very fresh and current that's because they're new inventory they've just come in and they're ready for sale no stale inventory no leftover inventory another seven another seven boat probably won't be here but a few days but it's here now but anyway uh virginia covid for that matter most people are wearing masks uh, especially in public most places are requiring it still and it's July 17th currently um, We haven't done much traveling some of our buyers have been traveling around picking up and dropping off vehicles and uh, They're experiencing kind of the same thing in most states. They travel to uh, Some states more strict than others So it's a uh, it's a very unique time for all of us and uh Yes, we have been busy. Uh, expenses have been higher than average just because of the fact that we've had to hustle more. We've had to bring in some outside staff. But thankfully, we have been able to keep all of our staff employed through all this. We uh, did not have to close. We stayed open every day through the whole thing. I think we did take one Friday and Saturday of a holiday that we normally don't take the time to take. Put a little give back to the employees. But aside from that, we've been here every day and we have survived the what we hope is the worst part of COVID. 
maybe we did maybe we didn't uh end of the year the books will show one way or the other but the downfall that's going to happen now is replenishing of inventory is just really not possible and that's very unfortunate but uh, we're going to do our best to keep ahead above water a uh, lot lower inventory count than normal we are bringing in a lot more commercial vehicles because we're having time to concentrate on that and that's a big uh, help to a lot of guys that like dealing with us because we make it very easy uh, people don't like wasting time and when it comes to us we had a customer in yesterday that literally said it took him longer to order a sandwich at mcdonald's than it did to buy his car and he was in out signed paid three minutes four minutes tops so uh, people like that you know, some people like being here all day and making it a whole day transaction and that's okay too but for us if you're ready to get in and get out we're happy to set it up and get it done for you. I appreciate you watching and looking. Please reach out to us if you have any needs for boats, RVs, campers. Even if you don't see them in stock, we do have a waiting list currently for people and their specific needs. And we'll be happy to try our best to fulfill those needs. Phone number's right there, or you can give us a call. You can give us an email or check the website davis4x4.com thanks for watching